Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel La Fisica Che Ci Piace where learning physics and mathematics it's wow! Today we are gonna talk about 18 biggest mysteries unsolved in physics. I'll break up this video in three different videos. Today is the first, the next Fridays will be the second and the third before to start, don't forget to subscribe my channel, put your thumb up, share my videos and don't forget to ring the bell to get all my notifications. Ok, let's start! Dark energy, dark energy. No matter how astrophysicists crunch the numbers, the universe simply doesn't add up. Even though gravity is pulling inward on space-time, it keeps expanding outward faster and faster. To account for this, astrophysicists have proposed an invisible agent that counteracts gravity by pushing space-time apart. They call it dark energy. But what is dark energy? Dark matter. Dark matter. About 84% of the matter in the universe doesn't absorb or emit light. Dark matter, as it's called, cannot be seen directly and it hasn't yet been detected by indirect means either. Instead, dark matter existence and properties are inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter, radiation and the structure of the universe. Arrow of time, arrow of time. Time moves forward because of a property of the universe called entropy, which is a kind of level of disorder, only increases and there is no way to reverse a rise in entropy after it's occurred. But the underlying question here is, why was entropy so low in the past? Why was the universe so ordered at its beginning, when a huge amount of energy was crammed together in a small amount of space? Parallel universes. Parallel universes. Astrophysical data suggests space-time might be flat rather than curved, and thus that it goes on forever. If so, then the region we can see, which we think of as the universe, is just one patch in an infinitely large culted multiverse. At the same time, the laws of quantum mechanics dictate that there are only a finite number of possible particle configurations within each cosmic patch. So, with an infinite number of cosmic patches, the particle arrangements within them are forced to repeat infinitely many times over. This means there are infinitely many parallel universes. Matter and antimatter, matter and antimatter, one assumes the universe would treat matter and antimatter symmetrically, and thus that, at the moment of Big Bang, equal amounts of matter and antimatter should have been produced. But if that had happened, there would have been a total annihilation of both. For some reason, there was excess of matter that didn't get annihilated. And here we are. For this, there is not accepted explanation. The fate of the universe. The fate of the universe. 
the fate of the universe strongly depends on a factor of unknown value. Omega, it's a measure of the density of matter and energy throughout the cosmos. If omega is greater than 1, less than 1, or equal 1, the space-time would eventually stop expanding or collapsing or extending like an infinite plane in all directions. So, what is our destiny? Okay guys, let's continue the next Friday. Bye for now. Oh,